Hi everyone, I'm Donna with The Joyful Learner. Today we're going to get started on the primary Montessori math curriculum. So we're going to do the very first lesson of the Montessori three to six curriculum. So that's the curriculum for three to six year olds. And the very first lesson is the red and blue rods. I have a printable version of the red and blue rods, which I will use and show you how to access. And then I also have a small version of the red and blue rods. You may have the full size version in your school or your home. And certainly you can use that to follow right along. Uh, but if you don't have that, that's totally fine. You could use a small version or even this printable version and you'll learn, your child will learn the same concepts. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna do this lesson as if you have your child sitting right next to you. Because you can do this lesson along with your child or you can just watch it and do it with your child later on by yourself. But I'm gonna do it as if your child is sitting alongside of you. All right, so I've unrolled my work rug. And as you can see, I laid the red and blue rods, the printable red and blue rods on the work rug. And it's really important to have all of the red ones along the left side. If you have some that are flipped where the blue is along the left side of the rug, go ahead and flip them over. So next, I'm gonna find the longest one, just like we did with the red rods. If you followed that lesson, we're gonna find the longest rod. So it's going to be the one that is sticking out the furthest to the right side. So if I look here, this one right here, is the longest. I'm going to put that at the top of my rug. Now I'm going to find the next longest and I think it's this one but I can always check. I can bring these down here and yep this one is the longest one. It's sticking out the furthest. So I'm going to go ahead and put them all in order from longest to shortest. So go ahead you can always pause the video and go ahead and do that. All right, I've made a stair at the top of my rug from longest, longest, all the way down to the shortest. So now we're going to count. This is one. This is two. One, two. This is three. One, two, three. Let's see what this one is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the first five. I'm going to bring them down here. So we can focus on that, those five. If you'd like to, this might be a good time to stop the video and practice counting those. Just numbers one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so are you ready to go on? Let's try counting this next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is our last one. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now I spread out the red rods a little bit because now we're going to match the numeral with the quantity. This is the quantity, and then these are the numerals. This says a number, and this is that number, that quantity. So this says one, this is the numeral one, and this is one. This one was one, two. I'm gonna find the two. This says two. I'll match it with that one. One, two, three. This is three. This says three. It goes there. One, two, three, four. That's four. This says four. One, two, three, four, five. This is five. This says five. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is six, and this says six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is seven. And this one says seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This says eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This says nine. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This says ten. So this time with the red and blue rods, again, in random order, lined up on the left side of your rug, but in random order, like we did the first time, you can count again and match up the numerals. This will be a little bit more challenging because the numerals are not going to be in order. So you'll be counting one, two, three, four, five, six and finding the one that says six. One, two, three, four. Which one says four? That one. So you can go ahead and do this lesson just like that. Okay, so I went ahead and did that because I know you're working on your own and I just wanted to show you what mine ended up looking like. But yours is gonna look very different because you're gonna have a random order, a different order than mine probably. Before we conclude the lesson, I just wanted to show you a couple other variations that you can try with your child. Here I've no lined up the numeral cards at the top of the rug, and I only have numbers one through five. So earlier I showed you the entire lesson, but you can certainly just focus on numbers one through five, and then move on when your child is ready. 
And in this variation, I have lined up the numerals on the left side and then matched the quantity to the right of it. I have also introduced zero. So I have zero at the very top and obviously there's no quantity next to it. So you can talk about how zero means nothing and introduce that concept as well. And one final variation, sometimes when uh, children are using the full-sized red and blue rods, they will lean the numeral cards against the rod, and this variation uh, simulates that to a certain extent. So here I have placed the numeral card on top of the rod, and it is on the right side of the rod. So you can see the stair. And these are in order from 1 to 10, uh, rather than the reverse order that we used previously. But this concludes our lesson with the red and blue rods. We'll come back to the red and blue rods when we do things like making 10 and adding. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please remember to hit like and subscribe. Next time, we're going to start with the language curriculum. So we're going to start with the first lesson there, and that is with rhyming. I'll have a link in the description box to some of my rhyming works in my Teachers Pay Teacher store, and I'll see you in the next video.